ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Thank you so much for staying with us tonight. Special request. And so that song was played. My special request, my sister Melanie asked me for that. So I had to play it for her. So if you're listening to us tonight and you got a special request or a song that you want to hear, hit me up, inbox me, and I might just play your song. If that's your favorite song, all you got to do is ask me for it. Give me enough time, and I will get it. Melanie, I played that song for you, girl. Hey. So you better give me some love and tell everybody that ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J is going to play your favorite joint. All you got to do is ask, and you might just get to hear your favorite song. All right, JR, you ready to do your thing, man? We got the debate files, man. Yeah, yeah. We, we about to debate some stuff right now. Are, are you going to rile up the listeners, man? You going to have people try. as riled up as they were in that last try. segment? Because anytime you talk about Jesus and Guma Azdabar, you're going to get people. Guma. You got to listen, man. That's the Greek. You know what I mean? I don't scratch all that. That's the Greek. I don't speak Greek. I speak Guma Azdabar. Anyway. I mean, the people that's listening, if you if you get the Greek for G-O-D, then you understand what that means, my brother. Look it up. But check it out. You ready to do your thing, man? I am. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's heard. It's probably been discussed. Um, Omar Epps, he had the juice <laughs> until he put on that skirt. <laughs> He had the juice until he put on the skirt. So we we in 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 the debate shit period group. It's just me and my homeboys. We talk about anything. Now, Omar Epps decides to follow the trend that he says, and I quote, comes from uh, the uninformed couldn't understand my contemporary ode. To the Zulu tribe, so he's he's wearing this skirt not not because it's a fashion thing, not because Lil Wayne did it, not because Marlon Wayne's did it, but because the Zulu tribe did it. So his justification for wearing a skirt that's why he went in your closet and took your skirt and he wore it out. I hope that was right for proper English. <laughs> but he he took it and he took your skirt and he wore it. And he wore it, and he just he made a mockery of himself. Did he twirl? I, I don't know. We don't know what he did when he was Maybe behind closed doors. Maybe he's Scottish, and he He's forgot. not Scottish. I don't care if he's black, Irish. As long as he didn't take at, my Wonder Woman Spanx? underwear. Nah. <laughs> no. Really? Now, he was blasted by several people, including... Uh, uh, His wife? A rapper, Lord Jamar, saying skirts should only be worn by women. Uh, Who is that rapper? Lord Jamar. No, man. No, Lord Jamar. No Lord Jamar, brand new being. Come on, man. Now. Don't, I, don't, I, don't do that. Look, man. I I was too little for that. You don't remember brand new being? I remember the name. I, I don't I remember, remember the name. Where they do that at? I, they do it right they do here. That right here. They do it right here. Okay. We're looking at a clip of Omar Epps when he was on The View last week with um, and them. He got on his skirt <laughs> sitting there. Okay, with something's his, wrong with that jacket. He's sitting there. I mean, it's it don't fit him. That's what's wrong. But it's it, about to bust wide open. It's leather. I, there's a lot going on with this outfit. Are those thigh high boots? Th- 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 there's a lot. That, there's a lot. I'm thigh, sorry. Are those boots thigh high boots he has on? Or th- those light tights. There's a lot going on with the outfit, but Is I think pink? Jr. You are more focused on the fact that, that he he's has wearing, a skirt on. He's wearing a kilt. Is I'm sure, and I didn't read. I didn't listen to the interview. This. I mean, I heard about the story, but... With tennis shoes on. He's wearing high heel sneaker boots. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. He's got on a skirt. Back that up. That's a skirt. It's leather. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a leather skirt. That ain't no no kill. No, it it ain't no kill. It ain't plaid, and he ain't playing the bagpipes. (laughs) Now... He's not rocking the the Roddy Piper. The problem that I have here is he uses... The Zulu tribe, and he, he named other other tribes that also wore skirts. My thing is, he's not going to war. They have since made jeans. <laughs> they got hoodies. They got sweatpants. They got box of box of briefs. But he's wearing a skirt though. With his so, legs wide open. And his legs wide. Thank you. Well, what's on his legs? What's he your legs now, now, here's here's where we come into the problem. Is I, I would love to read you all some some comments from the debate group. Unfortunately, they are filled with words that we cannot <laughs> say on air, and a few that Marcus just does not like at all. So, mm. needless to say, 
like, the only know. comment I can read Whoopi, is right? I would like to remake Juice and drop him off the roof for wearing that skirt. <laughs> now, the, the thing that I pose here is Wow. In our wow. ancient cultures and, and in and in cultures from hundreds of years ago, uh, you know, we did a lot of different things. And and I'm not just talking black cultures, I'm not talking just African, I'm not talking, you know, everywhere. We've we've done some some pretty bizarre things. And so I've I've taken a few things and, and I would like to know would any of you all do this today and say, Hey, our ancestors did it. Why can't I? First of all, Self mummification. Self mummification. Okay? Now, self mummification is they believe, some Buddhists believe that you can know when you're about to die. So, in an effort to preserve your body and, and make yourself as holy as possible, they would take various um, herbs to make themselves more fit, they would drink various poisons so that maggots would not eat their bodies, then they would lock themselves in tombs and wrap themselves so that when they died, their body would be preserved. That's why, would you do that today? So you would look like your fine self right now? Would you do that? <laughs> would you do that? So, so hundreds of years from now, when the people in little Jetson spaceships, cars, come and dig you up, you look just like you look right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't no. do that. No. Mm -mm. Cause, Cause, what if you wake up kicking in that body bag like the man in the, in the previous? Oh my, two weeks time limit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Well, is it is it myrrh? Is it's myrrh that you take right for the mummification? Here they're not they're not taking myrrh. I they're actually going. Uh, the, they're the doing uh, tree oil. bark uh -huh. and tea made from urushi tree. Um, the the effects from this uh, bark from this tree. Uh, you would start to vomit and lose bodily fluid and kill off any maggots that, you know, might mm -hmm. move in after death. The monk would then lock himself in a tomb, take up the lotus position, and breathe through a tube ringing a bell to let those outside know Stop that they were it. still alive until they aren't. So your last days, that's what you're going to be doing. No, I'm going to pass. So we're going to do that. Foot binding. Foot binding. Would you like your feet to look like that? Uh, would you, that, Marcus, that looks like one big toe. Would you, would you like your white feet to look like that? You pull back the covers. She got these right here. She got these right here. That's a divorceable offense. <laughs> Let me see now, the, the Chinese, okay, here it is. The Chinese practice, <gasps> or used to practice, I don't know if they still do or not. Christ. They used to practice the art of foot binding. It used to, it, they thought that it started in the 10th or 11th century when dancers at the imperial court would bind their feet. But it spread, apparently, because men found it attractive and women bound feet getting better marriages. Mm. It's a deeply unpleasant process. The feet of a young girl or male, as they thought it was nice to, are soaked. Then her nails are clipped. She's given a massage, which is nice because all her toes, except the big one, are broken. <gasps> then the feet are bound in cloth over and over again. The toes were forced and kept under the feet oh, God, as the girl was still developing the foot could be trained the toes falling off was seen as a good thing as the feet could be bound ever tighter many girls died from infections so mama j says papa j i would like to have my foot binded because i'm bringing it back the ancient chinese used to do it and they do kung fu <laughs> damn it and i want it too but there's no shoe you can't there can we? Oh God, that that's like one big flipper. We can't wear any. There's no the shoes. I can't. I love heels. There, there's no heels. I couldn't wear that. Now you know. Oh, I'm a. I mean, I, I could keep going, but. Now, what is was it, is the it, point of the massage? The point of the massage is to like break your toes, right. so you can bind them. Mm -hmm. But just. Break I guess they. I guess they're loosening the muscles in there. It. Right, but it. Stars, these celebrities, oh, they are telling God, you, they are telling you that anything really is just bald. great. We can just do anything. <laughs> now, I, I know this is a little overboard for for him wearing a skirt, but anything and everything in the name of my ancestors, that it just ain't cool. Daddy Boo Diva said oh. he's still fine. 
Girl, you ain't to <laughs> lie. You, you sure right about that. Mm. Even in the skirt? Even in the skirt, he's mm-hmm. still fine. But, I, I, you know. He got up and took a pose. I was like, yeah, baby, do uh, it again. Uh, you know, when I saw the skirt thing, I mean, I think the thing that we're missing is the fact that a lot of these cats today are getting caught up in the feminization of our males. And one of the things that you see exemplified in the feminization of our males is you are seeing the fashion change. You're seeing the people who are out front of the fashion who are allegedly the masculine males using feminine type of characteristics as part of their fashion, which is the reason why you see people like Lil Wayne and skinny jeans. You see leopard print skinny jeans. You see people like Lil Wayne and skinny jeans. (laughs) You see people like Omar Epps in a skirt, not a kilt. I seen Snoop. I seen Diddy. I seen, you know, uber masculine rappers in positions that would depict them in very effeminate type of situations. And the only thing that I can say to that is we as men, we need to take our kids back, yo, for real. Mm -hmm. We need to stop allowing the hip hop generation to be the ones who are raising our kids because I'm gonna be honest with you. When I was 15 years old in 1989, no matter how cool it was, to get a, a part in the side of my head, no matter how cool it was to wear an African medallion, no matter how cool it was to want to take a trash can and throw it through a window a la Mookie, Spike Lee, and do the right thing, if Pops J thought that that was bullshit, it was bullshit to me. I wasn't doing it. And I remember the day I came home with a part in my head, thinking that it was cool. And my father said, hell no. You know what I did? I went and got it blended. Because my father said that that wasn't cool. We need to be the men that on the forefront of showing our boys what's important and what's not important. And until we doing that, we can watch people like Omar Epps. And he, look, man, my personal opinion of Omar Epps is it's a good brother who is just misguided. I don't, I don't, I don't have no, no, no ill towards him. I don't have no negativity. I think he had his damn mind for wearing a skirt on the View. You gonna go on the View and wear a skirt? Like seriously? Maybe it was a dare. I maybe it was a dare. I think it was more, more likely Toyana. I think it was someone that's in his camp, maybe a publicist or someone that said, "This is the new fashion trend. Rock this," and he, he. My personal opinion, again, you know, this is my opinion. I don't care what y'all think. This is my opinion. <laughs> I really don't care what y'all think. Yeah, I disagree with me, either. and then we can fight. And the listeners, I don't care what y'all think either. But the <laughs> truth is, I think that someone came to him and said, yo, rock this. And he said, I ain't wearing no freaking skirt on TV. You kidding me? I'm going on a view. Everybody's going to see this. And he was like, rock this, yo. It's going to make your status go up. People going to see it. And they're going to be talking about you. And, and you know, we regular folks. So when, we, when people talk about us, nobody gives a shit. But when people talk about regular people, it turns into money. You know what I mean? And so he saw dollar signs. So he said, all right, I'm not feeling the skirt, but I'm going to rock this joint. That's my opinion of what Omar Epps did. Because I've been following this dude since Juice. And nothing about Omar Epps tells me that he's homosexual, that he's anybody who would just rock a skirt for no other reason other than it was dollar signs somewhere at the end of that tunnel toyana jump in i got a couple of comments my sister melanie is listening hey, melanie. melanie i'm gonna get your comment in a minute but uh i want toyana to jump in here first this is you know i i get pointed at because i do believe in trend setting i like trend setting and i am into the fashion world on my uh spare time but i, I you know it to me Omar Epps wearing a skirt, okay. I don't think that that's going to be the the epic fail or the replacement of men still sagging. I'm tired of it. 
I mean, I'm not trying to go away from the conversation about him wearing a skirt, but I am saying that, you know, back to you, Marcus, you were saying that, you know, we need to get our young men back to understand uh, what's appropriate attire, how to wear your pants, you know. No, men don't wear skirts. Um, but it, to me, I think that now it's all about money, it's all about imagery. If you don't watch his shows, um, you will now, because he was on The View. Yes, he was wearing a skirt. He's in this new sci-fi movie called Resurrection. So there's a lot of things that's going positive for him. I would say, Marcus, let's just see if this is going to be a continued saga. Maybe this is just a, a you know, pivotal moment because he was on The View with a whole bunch of ladies. And maybe this is just a one-shot deal. And it may not be in his. It may not be his attire. Let's well, just he see was that. Uh, it's just to, to give you a little yeah. bit more That's on it. it he was he was catching flack on Twitter, and uh, Marlon Wayans came to his rescue and told people, you know, we need to man up and accept this new fashion trend. Oh wow! And not be homophobic. I don't. You know. I, I mean. I guess. I guess. You know. You would. You would think a man who wears a skirt would be gay, but um, me, I just thought it was weird. I don't care what nobody say. I have my opinion, just like you have your opinion. My opinion is, do wearing a skirt is because he is feminine, straight up. You're not wearing no skirt because you think it's cool. You wearing a skirt because you think that it's okay for you to wear a skirt, and it's an effeminate trait. It just is so, what it is. So men that sag, knowing nah. the you know, knowing the connotations and the ideologies about what sagging it's it's came it's from. Different. It's, it's different. different. Okay, well, you saying it's different. I think it's different. But I'm not. Hey, look, I say it's different not because I'm defending sagging because I think you stupid, stupid. For wearing your pants off your ass. It's the dumbest thing that I think that I've ever your seen a brother do. Like, <laughs> especially when you walking around with a belt on, holding your pants, pants the worst. lower. No, you're holding your it's the dumbest it's thing. It's the, it's the dumbest. The super it's the, tight jeans. The skinny that won't even fit over most people's it's, it's, it's the dumbest thing in the world. Like, it's what? dumb. But I don't think that it's the same. Okay. I don't think that it's the same because, unfortunately, sagging pants is a masculine trait. No matter how dumb it is, no matter how dumb it is, you don't see chicks sagging pants. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a it's a dummy well, thing. Well, wait a minute. It's an, it's we a, do yeah, have them. They were called but, low riders. Okay. They were let's, called let's, low riders. We wore let's, without thongs. Okay, let's let's. Let's, those, let's, those, those are specific let's not style max, of pants, hey, look, though. Let's, okay, pants. let's not maximize something that's a majority. You see a chick do it from time to time. Don't try to make it out to be the same as dudes sagging pants because it's not the same. No. It's just not. You see, it's off your butt, ain't it? Yeah, that's okay, what I'm gonna say. Okay, all right, all right. I, I'm not gonna debate that. Y'all can, y'all can have that it opinion. Not aware. We can, we can, we can, we can agree to disagree on that. But the reality is, we know that dudes that sag pants off their ass is more is normally dudes. Okay. But what, what does it you, mean? What does it mean if a man? What you and I, I because from? we intelligent people that's in our damn forties, we realize that it's a prison culture thing. Mm -hmm. That if you sag the pants off your ass, that means you the girl. You the girl in prison and Watch you available. The warrior. Okay. We, you the girl in prison. <laughs> okay, because we understand the logic. We understand the history. We understand all of that. But these kids, these 13-year-olds and these 15-year-olds that see the 16-year-olds and the 16-year-olds that see the 20-year-olds and 20-year-olds that see the 25-year-olds, they are the ones who see their peers doing it. It's different. It's different. Omar Epps, he ain't getting none of his pairs to wear no freaking skirt. Come on, man. He it's not the same. He right? All right. So let's simplify it. I grew up watching Juice. I went to see Juice in the movies. I've been a fan of Omar Epps since 1992. I've been a fan of his. I watched him in pretty much everything. Love basketball. I watched him I on know. House, even though I like, you know, Hugh Laurie better. But I watched him on House. I'm watching Resurrection because he's on it. I don't care about little kids dying in China and coming back same age 30 years later. I watch the shit because he's on it. I like Omar Epps. I'm watching this show because he's on it. I ain't going to wear no skirt, y'all. Come on now. Let's now, keep it real I think here. it's more like what you said earlier. Somebody said, wear this. It's going to cause talk. You're going to get money. He, he's on, the, what's that, The View? 
He's going to be on another show talking about it again. More money. He's going to be on another show talking about it again. More money. Same well, skirt, I, I think Marlon Wayne's comment about we need to get on board with the fashion trend and man up, I think that speaks to what you said as far as it being a, a, a monetary thing behind it. Because if we need to get on board and support it, then, and, and you out here telling us we need to, that must mean you getting something off of it if we do. So... I can tell you what. I mean, that's you won't catch me in no skirt. That's a good, but see, that's agreeing to me. You know what? That's the man sport. Would be your remember color. how girls had sports? <laughs> I remember the sports. The I, I, I just, I just, think I need the fellas that's listening eight zero four four zero two two eight nine three or that's listening to us on social media to jump in mm-hmm. here to help these ladies understand. That Omar Epps, bro, you on an island by yourself on this one. Grizzly, where's you at, man? I mean, I, you you <laughs> on an island by yourself on this. All right, let's get some comments in here. My sister Melanie is saying thank you, Marcus. The effemination of the black male is not sexy. I don't care how good you look. If you in the African culture, that's fine. It's part of the actual culture. I'm cool with that. But if you in Hollywood, then it ain't cool. And they are out to make black men to be the opposite role she continues it reminds her of Dave Chappelle so glad he never succumbed to such foolishness she agrees that it's about money uh she continues no it's going to continue with the next black man I mean Will Smith Marlon Lawrence etc have to go through these same uh somewhat in uh initiations look man Omar Epps is on the island on this one I'm sorry I'm not going to succumb well, maybe he's not because I did see a picture of Snoop and freaking Diddy with skirts on, you know, and they were more in the kilt looking, you know, because in my opinion, there is a difference between a kilt and a skirt. Mm. What Omar Epps had on was a skirt and what Roddy Piper wears is a kilt, <laughs> you know, so there, there's, there's, a, there's a difference. All right, we're going to leave it there. Ain't no ass step on Marcus J. JR, you got any final things before we move on? Nah, man, that's it. Bro. Ain't no ass step on Marcus J. Going to take another break. And then we come back, we're going to take a brief segment, but we're going to get into random. And if you were listening last week, you know what random is all about. I'm going to ask you some random questions, just some crazy shit that's going to make you go, hmm, I never thought about that. But you know what? I did think about that. Here's my opinion of it. Random. Ain't no how to step with Marcus J with the crew. Be back in a minute. <laughs> 